Oh, ho, ho, it is a somewhat shiny day in the state of Maryland. Oh my gosh. So, got an idea where, you know, kind of through the lens season, people like fish. And I was like, God, it's been forever since I've had fish sticks. I love fish sticks. So, went to a couple places. One grocery store was completely sold out of fish sticks. And the other one only had a couple places, a couple like tiny itty bitty boxes. I was like, oh, dang it. Um, ended up going to Walmart because I got to be somewhat cost effective. I've got down here, oh gosh, six boxes of at least a pound and a half fish sticks, fish sticks, fish sticks, fish sticks. Mmm, I love fish sticks. And uh, I'm also bringing a bottle of ketchup. <laughs> Heading on down to my work because I can use the fryer. And if I'm going to cook in bulk, might as well use a fryer. Um, it's about nine and uh, nine and a quarter pounds ish because they're it's over 24 ounce package. Um, yeah, eh, they didn't have any more, so I could do 10 pounds. So I just had to go for the close enough to 10 pounds option. Okay, there. I have got fish sticks. I've got a hot fryer. I have got. Nine pounds of fish sticks. So, huh. Well, I'm a little bit happy here because of the fact that there is, there are, there are but there's no plastic baggie in here. So, I do open the fish stick boxes. This is like high quality stuff. I got great value all the way. But it's not really that great of a value because it's still Walmart. I honestly feel like they'd probably be better if they were in a bag. Um, there we go. Look at you, fish sticks. No. Uh, I'm gonna do three. Yeah, you know what? I'm probably just gonna do one box per thing. This is actually pretty decent sized here. So, I'm gonna fry these up here. And I'm gonna go find a little pan and I will be back. All right guys, so I've got my <laughs> pile of uh, fish sticks here, fried up, awesome. This is massive. This is like yeah, nine and a half pounds of fish. I've got my pound and a half ketchup. So I got about 11 pounds plus some liquid. I got an extra thing for water right there if I need to. So if I need to grab more, I always like that. These are still hot, but I do not want to eat cold fish sticks. Cold fish sticks are disgusting. So. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Stopwatch. All right, reset. Oh my God. So, there's that. Oh my God, it's finally. I'm finding Dory right now. Oh, by the way, it is Rick's birthday. So, say happy birthday to Rick. Um, harvest time. Thank you once again for the prior usage. You rock. And with that, we're going to start eating fish because I don't want to eat the goldfish. Not going for time here, but just because you want to see a clock, there's one right there. Take it or leave it. So, three, two, one. Let's have some fish. I love crispy. Mm. As a kid, everybody loves fish sticks. I know, I know. The only thing about this challenge, if I eat them too fast, I'm going to cut my mouth. I'm not looking to do that. So. And they are still hot. Mm. And anyone making these at home, if you do have a deep fryer available, they're way better than the fryer.
Also, quick fact, the first two baskets that I dropped, Matt had told me that the fire was on. It was not on, so they sat in cold grease for a while and I didn't realize it. So, or not, a really greasy, or greasy, greasy fish stick. Thanks, Matt! Sorry. He's not sorry. It still tastes good. It probably tastes that good, Frank. It's still crispy. I can hear the crunch. Yeah, no, but it's squirting oil in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not complaining. It's a, it's a new sensory thing going on. Mmm. Oil. New experience. Maybe we ought to start doing that with uh, like our fries. Soaking them in grease before we fry them. This will be extremely disgusting and cold, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought that's gonna do for it well for you later. I know. Let me poop in a while. Okay, Sethi, you ready? Okay, let me oh, hold on. Let me got myself locked in on one of the other terminals. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Yeah, what time did you want to pick up? I thought I'm getting my phone through menopause or something. Man, like heat flash right here. Yes, it is. Well, fish flies. Okay, so we're going to do two raviolis. We're going to do two side salads with lemon vinaigrette. If I do, I'm gonna slice my mouth. I'm like, oh my god. Yes. Oh. Yeah, fish sticks can be dangerous. I'm kinda wishing they were just like soggy. Well, don't stay that long though, maybe. Well, I also like them cold. How much of the 
like a direct gut bomb. <laughs> this is horrible. Seriously, this is like finding Nemo. Oh my gosh.
Fish jacks, let's just say I got a little bit of ketchup here left. And about pounds. So I bought ten and a half pounds of fish and ketchup. Plus another six pounds of liquid. So about sixteen and a half pounds. Next time we be smarter to not take things that are sharp. Because I got a decent sized cut up on the inside of my mouth there. Um I don't know if y'all regularly eat fast, but I guess I, in real life I do kind of eat a little bit quicker and it's kind of just chowing the stuff. I think I got it with a tortilla chip. So, yeah, all the ketchup and all the sharpness, whatever, there's no way. I, I can't kill my mouth. So, whatever. But, fish sticks. I am not doing that ever again. Maybe fish sticks. But that, mm, lots of, that's a grease ball. I'm going to be feeling that later. That's, ugh. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Fail or prevail. Not a fail. But gosh, never again. Thank you once again for my amazing boss whose birthday is today. Happy birthday, Rick, for letting me use the fryer because I don't have one at home. And that's awesome. Uh, any ideas or whatever? Send it my way. This is how I keep it going because you guys throw me the great ideas. Uh, I will catch y'all next time. Like I said, it's yeah, everything good. Like I said, this is like this is fish stick belly right here. That's hey, yeah, whatever.